hi guys it's been a while it's dio again um today i'm going to be showing you how to skin tone your portraits and also color grid it as well so if you have a portrait that is um, less saturated and flat like this and you want to like create and give it more light most especially images that comes as raw images and lack color what you do first is just to tap on the auto button this auto option gives you more option uh, to work with so for instance you are not really good at adjustment basic adjustments of the uh, light it's going to give you um, an automated option but i would like I would, I would advise you to also tweak it to your taste so um, for those people that are familiar with the terms exposure contrast and highlights if you are not really familiar familiar with these terms i would like you to really go and um, check the meanings and how it works so after uh, adjusting the highlights the exposure and everything the goal is to actually get a sharp and a more um, in-depth image we want to have more depth in the image so after sharpening the image and after adjusting i turn on the remove chromatic abrasion and enable lens correction it's very important it takes away the abrasion and the color profile of course it should be colored then but if you want to go and use a monochrome you can go ahead so you can see the before and after we have not even started yet but everything is looking nice already so this is just the basic adjustment what we are going to be doing is we are going to be diving into the colors which is my favorite part as you all know i'm a colorist and i'm a digital artist i do illustration so i like playing around with my colors i'm a sucker for colors so the first thing you need to do is to um, shift the temperature and get a, your preferred temperature i'm going for something a bit warmer but if you are a photographer or a toucher that likes using cool colors on dark skin tone you can go ahead but what i want to achieve is i want to achieve something golden brown or something like that so i am that's why i'm going towards the red section the, the yellow red um, area so now i am tilting the tint um towards the i'm tilting the tint towards the pink area which is the right hand side you can see before and after so i just really adjusted a little bit just plus one and plus two you can be checking the numbers just in case you want to follow along with a similar image so you can get this image in on splash it's very it's free it's free to um, download so after doing that you go to your colors and you start with the red you adjust the red your hue is the um as we all know hue is the change in color so every color has its own its own hue luminance and um saturation so when i shift the hue of this red towards the right hand side it increases the green color and when i increase and uh, when i shift the hue towards the left hand side it increases the yellow the redness so ev every color has its own um, hue difference and also has its own dif um, saturation and luminance so what i'm trying to achieve is i want to um increase a bit of the yellow and reduce green from the skin i want to reduce the green from the skin then increase the yellow and then increase the red a bit so as to make the skin more alive so after doing that you can just play around with the rest of the color they are not really pronounced on this image so it's totally useless most especially the um, purple the the purple blue and the rest but i think magenta is quite present so you can just increase it a bit so after doing that you can um, tend to increase you can just increase the bright the br uh, vibrance or reduce the vibrance to um, 20 plus 20 
then you can choose to increase the saturation or just leave it like that because i i am feeling what i'm seeing now so i like it th this way so the next thing we are going to be doing is going to our sliders and we are going to be adjusting all these things if you like i am very fast you can feel free to slow down the video or still watch it again i am still going to be doing another example so stay put so this is this does contain the highlights the shadows and the mid-tone so whatever color you select for that particular highlight or, or um, mid-tone or um, shadows is going to reflect on the image so the first option is the shadows the second option is the mid-tone and the third option is the um, highlights so the shadows i'm going towards the reddish side as i said earlier and the highlights i'm going towards the cooler colors because i want to have a mixture between the cooler colors and the and the warmer colors the cooler colors are those ones which are the cyan blue and and so forth so i am going towards the bluish side but the lighter blue side side so as to have a mixture between the warmer colors and the um the warmer colors and the cooler colors so i am shifting my highlights to the bluish side or you can choose to leave it at the warmer colors or whatever just do whatever you feel like you want to do so yeah but this is what i want to achieve so as you can see the image is looking pretty good it's looking really nice it, it, it looks like one of those instagram model images so you can see the difference before and after before and after you can choose to replicate the same process and you can get the free image on on splash so let's go to the second example the second example is also a dark skin tone uh, model that um yeah have a harsh ash shirt it doesn't have any color on her it just plain ash and white and ash background as well so we want to make this image more saturated and more um, colored and more color color balanced so you can increase your contrast you can you can see before everything is flat so now this suggestion of the o2 has given us more leverage to understand what is going on so you can choose to adjust your highlights choose to adjust your contrast and whatever you want to do so now i am trying to see how i can adjust my highlights and shift it towards the minus side i want to reduce the highlights a bit so as to make the skin more more glowy and nice so the next thing we are going to be doing is we are going to be adjusting our shadows you can see the um and also our blacks you can see whatever thing i'm doing on the sliders is affecting the image in real time so from tweaking all these options you can um simply just indicate you can know what the options are doing on the image whatever image every option uh, every option is unique and it has its own impact so we are done with the um basic adjustment we are going to the temperature the temperature gives you warm and cool colors when you shift it to the right it gives you warm color when you shift it to the left it gives you the cool colors so we are going to the tint and i want to introduce more um i want to introduce more pink color to the image but a little a little so we have the minus one and we have the plus one and you can choose to increase the vibrance but i'll leave it like that so you can see before and after so the next thing we are going to be doing is the color sliders the color sliders so you can choose to increase your uh, red but i won't i won't really do that because i want to the model to really have a a chocolate is chocolate skin tone if that's possible so i'm trying to just achieve a fair balance between the dark skin tone chocolate and all that so yeah so now our, our mission is to actually reduce green so i'm shifting my green sliders towards the left hand side so as to achieve the yellow color then go back to the yellow or red 
to reduce and shift the uh, the black the red the red and see what it does so if you shift the red towards the left hand side it introduces magenta so yeah so i am just trying to like play around to see what i want to achieve it's very important that you know the impact of these sliders on your image and before you start doing any editing make sure you have the picture of what you want to achieve in your mind before doing that so just make sure if you are editing a black skin tone or a dark skin tone model um make sure you you decrease a lot of reds from the image decrease a lot of red and decrease a lot of green and decrease decrease yellow if possible just make sure the skin is balanced and make sure you use your wheel color wheel for the color grading so as you can see i am trying to like look for a nice um skin tone um, mid tone highlights and shadows for my color grading so as you can see i think i've found something i want so this is just all about color combination when you shift your mid tone towards the reddish side this is what you get if you shift it towards the pinkish towards the purple you can see what it, it gives you so if you shift your shadows towards the purple and the pink and the red and the yellow and the and the orange and the green and the, you can see what it's doing so i want to shift my shadows towards the orange side then i just want to reduce the luminance a bit and increase or i think I, I will decrease the luminance i will reduce the luminance so as to have a thick a very thick um color so you can see the impact is having on the skin so i want to just achieve that chocolate skin then what you are going to do next is to actually reduce the luminance again luminance you can choose to uh, play around with all these options it really depends on what you want to achieve but make sure you follow the rules of color skin variations so and make sure you follow the rules of color harmony as well so after tweaking your color wheels you can still go back to your color um, sliders for the color adjustment and color balancing as well if you feel like the yellow was too much you can reduce it and if you feel like the orange was too much you can also reduce it so yeah i think i like this so i think we will be stopping here you think if you think that you are not satisfied you can feel free to continue editing but i think i'm satisfied with this so yeah if you have any question drop it down below in the comment section i'll be there to answer and yeah i'll see you in my next video peace